Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an empties video and I should have filmed this a while ago so this might be a long one but I'm going to try and go through these empties as quickly as possible. You all know what an empties video is so I'm just gonna go through my makeup and kind of skincare empties uh, with you and tell you what I think about them and if I would repurchase them and if you didn't see my January and February empties I will leave them listed in the description box a lot of these items I will have talked about in my product pan kind of finales or updates so you might recognize quite a few of them but yeah let's just start get going through them so I'm just gonna reach into here and grab I have a bag in my lap so I have a bag here with all of my empties so I'm just gonna reach in and talk about them so they are going to be like in completely random order but this is the Illumasca Hydro Veil and this one I used up in my 20 in 2020 project and I really really like this primer it's a very thick hydrating primer so if you have really dry skin I think you would really like this because it also has kind of like a plumping effect that I really enjoyed it's not really catered towards my skin tone because I have kind of like an oily skin type so I had to put this one on first and then put on like a mattifying primer in my t-zone uh, but as I said I did really really enjoy this one it's really expensive so just because I kind of had to counteract like both like I enjoy the effect but I also kind of had to counteract it so because it's expensive uh, I'm not going to be repurchasing this one but I do really really re recommend it if you are looking for a hydrating primer I also used up a toner uh, that I haven't talked about in another video I believe. This is the Illumini Daily Clearing Treatment Water for oily and combination skin. So this was a toner for me. Um, I would wash my face in uh, the evening when I was showering or like just wash my face in the evening and then in the morning I would just use this to kind of go over my face to prep it for like applying my skincare and all of that and I did enjoy this one. I think I might repurchase this. It wasn't something like revolutionary but I did enjoy it so for like a cruelty free toner I did enjoy this one. I used up a body cream from Rituals. I did cut it up um, and got all of it out. I really really this was the Maydow Organic White Lotus in GG Ren rich nourishing rich nourishing body cream and I love the smell like the scent of this one. I was okay with the consistency it was a little bit more thick than I um, like prefer uh, but I did enjoy using that up. I wouldn't purchase it as I said because I like a more kind of thin consistency body lotion and um, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy the Rituals products. I also used up this Barning In uh, All Over Rescue Body Balm which I talked about in my sample size blitz and this is also one of those thicker consistency which is why I wouldn't repurchase this one either uh, but it had a really nice like fresh kind of light scent uh, that I really enjoyed. I used up this Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream and I used this as kind of like a night cream and I thought it, would, it was a bit greasy uh, so it's not my favorite and I yeah I, I can't really say because I think you're supposed to have really mature skin to really enjoy that so it wasn't really like catered towards me and I didn't really enjoy it so yeah I don't have a ton to say about that one. I used up this Nivea Body Lotion uh, for dry skin so this was just like a small sample and I enjoy this one it has a really really light formula and um, it has like a very light scent as well so I think I would prefer like I really liked it but I think if I buy like when I buy a body lotion I want it to have a more like spring or like flowery or like sweet scent so yeah enjoy putting this on but I know that I could enjoy the process even more if that makes sense. I finally used up this L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper which is a brow gel. I did enjoy it but it's not cruelty free so I think you can find a ton of better alternatives that are cruelty free. I used up this Laneige Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask. I really enjoy this but it's not cruelty free uh, so uh, it was a very light a kind of sleeping mask so if you want a sleeping mask that kind of plumps your skin this is not it but it's a very like nice it's like a pleasant to put it on and it had a, has like a pleasant um, like formula or consistency and also scent so I did enjoy it but it's not like it doesn't have my favorite kind of sleeping mask formula I used 
it doesn't look like I used it up, but I couldn't get any more out. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. This is kind of like a gel type moisturizer, which is not my favorite, so this is not something I would pick up again. I heard like some talk about it saying that it had a very strong scent. I, I don't think mine had a strong scent. It had a scent, like a watermelon scent, but it was very like light or like very mild in my opinion. So yeah, I didn't have any problems using this up, but it's not my favorite kind of formula of moisturizer. It's very lightweight and I prefer a bit more like a creamy formula. This was a long time ago. This is the uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. I used this up. Uh, I do enjoy this mascara, especially like if you open it and then you kind of let it sit for a little while and then you start using it and then it will be like have thickened up a little bit and then I feel like I like it more. Uh, so I do enjoy that but it's not cruelty cool free. Let's go through some samples quickly that I had in my sample size splits. So first off we have this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Night Cream. I hated this. It felt like I put on like butter on my face. And when I woke up in the morning, I still felt like I had butter on my face. So I really hated this. I hated the feeling of putting this on. And like when I woke up in the morning, like my hair, like the baby hairs, like here on my, or like up here, had like stuck to my forehead because it was so greasy from the, from the cream. So yeah, I did not like that at all. Uh, I also used up this Lumini Nordic Nude. Uh, foundation. I really really like this one so I think I might pick this up in the future. It's a nice very lightweight kind of cruelty free foundation. Uh, and then I also used up this Lumini Daily Rituals Nutri Recharging Intense Moisturizer. Um, it's so weird because I can't remember what I thought about this one but I usually don't like Lumini <laughs> like face cream so I don't think I would pick this up. It didn't make like a lasting impression on me since I didn't I can't remember what I thought about it. Um, but yeah, it's not something I would pick up. Uh, I also used this uh, Benefit uh, It's Potent Eye Cream and I did enjoy this one. It's a very lightweight uh, eye cream. I didn't notice it doing anything for like dark circles or like wrinkles or anything. Um, but it's a, it's a fine, like it's fine. <laughs> it works. Um, but I wouldn't pick it up because it's not cruelty free. I also used up a leave-in conditioner that was nothing special, so yeah, we don't even have to talk about it. This is the Sephora Super Supreme Butter Butter that I really enjoyed because this was a much more lightweight kind of butter butter than I'm used to. And I really like <laughs> lightweight, as I said before, uh, for my body lotion. Um, so yeah, I did really, really enjoy this. I really enjoy the scent, um, so I would pick it up if it was cruelty free. And then I also have just a sheet mask from Mali, and this was the Coenzyme Q10 mask. I just use this because these are kind of like a nice like self-care or like take some time for yourself kind of thing to do, but I don't feel like they do a ton for me. I feel like it was a little bit dark, so I lighten it up a little bit now. I also use this Augustinius Bader The Rich Cream, uh, which I don't know. It's a, the consistency really is, is really weird because it's a very rich cream and it feels really thick and then you, when you put it on it goes a bit thinner. Uh, so I like I enjoyed it but it is not something that I would pick up or like feel like I have to use or have to have. I also used up this Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I did enjoy this one as well. I used it under my eyes. It wasn't anything special but it wasn't like bad either so if you tried like I feel like a lot of other, like I have a MAC uh, kind of translucent setting powder uh, or like finishing powder that I used under my eyes as well and I did prefer this one. So I feel like there are a lot of other powders that you could dupe with this one. But I do have one from Makeup Store, um, which is a Swedish brand, the Makeup Store. They have a translucent powder and I like the formula of that powder much more than I like this one so I would purchase that one over this one so I, I don't think I'm not gonna repurchase this one uh, but if you can't get your hands on the makeup store powder I would recommend this one it's also way less expensive so if you're on a budget it's a good powder I didn't like it for my forehead or like for my face which is like what it's supposed to do because it's supposed to be like a mattifying powder uh, but I thought it was a bit kind of heavy 
Uh, I used up this sample of a perfume. This is the Aura Mugler perfume. And this has a very, very like distinct scent. It has kind of like a sweet and minty scent, which I enjoyed, but it's not something that I would pick up. I also used up a Colourpop lipsticks in the shade I'm Yours, which is like a cream formula. I think I worked on this one for like four months or so. Uh, and I wore it like almost every time I did my makeup. So yeah, it takes a while for me to use up lip products because these are very easy to use up because they are like a cream formula. But I do really, really enjoy the lipsticks and I feel like the lipsticks from, like the Lux lipsticks from Colourpop is one of my favorite formulas. So I really feel like they do lip products so, so well, um, like Colourpop. I also used up this SC um, top coat. Um, like there's a tiny bit in the middle, but if I do like the, this, it doesn't even move. So it has kind of dried up or like solidified. So yeah, I did use that one. I do really enjoy that one. I used up this kind of eye gel from Lumini. That was, um, I mean, it was fine. It worked fine, but I don't like this gel type. I like a more like creamy formula under my eyes as well. I feel like I'm moving through this pretty quickly. So yay, yay for me. Okay, so we also have a lip gloss from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Hypershine Gloss in the shade Fairy, which I used up in my 20 in 2020. I do enjoy the formula on this one. It's kind of lightweight, but I don't like the packaging, so it's not something... I don't know if you can still pick it up, but I wouldn't recommend it. I also used up a powder from MAC. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light, uh, which will be super dirty now, I think, if I... yeah open it up but yeah I did use this one up and it was nothing special to me so it's not something I would have picked up if MAC was cruelty free because I have other powders like I said the makeup store powder I really really like that powder uh, so that is the one that I would pick up like that one that one I have repurchased and would pick up again if like all of my other powders if I used up all of my other powders or they disappeared or something that would be the one I would pick up I also used up a Lumini Nordic Rituals Nurturing Body Lotion, which I enjoyed, but I don't have any like clear memories of what it felt like going on. So yeah, it's not something I would pick up. And then I have this Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum, which I think I remember liking, but not so much that I like wanted to pick it up immediately. Like I have one serum that I used, I think it was in the beginning of the year, that was from 111 Skin. And that one I could feel from like a sample this size that I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I feel like it like did made a difference for my skin. Unfortunately, that one is like 200 pounds or something, which is crazy expensive or like $200. I can't remember exactly which like currency it was. But yeah, that's way too expensive and I'm not going to spend that much on a serum, but I did really, really enjoy it. So this one does not compare to that one. And then the last empty is this Gucci Bloom perfume sample. I remember thinking this was a little bit too heavy or like strong for me. It has a floral scent, so it's not really heavy per se, but it's like a... It's, it smells very strongly of flowers and that's just not my kind of favorite type of scent. I like the more like darker, more like sexy scents I guess. Like, Or like I think it's as a 27 year old I probably shouldn't enjoy the scents I do. But like I really like the Juicy, Juicy Couture at Night perfume. I think that one smells really nice. And I like the Dior Poison Girl perfume. Uh, I really really enjoy that one. I have had a really hard time. I also like the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love, I think it's called, perfume. Uh, but I've had a really really hard time. Like I haven't, I haven't run out of the perfumes that are non cruelty free yet. So I haven't had to like search very very actively for a you non know, or like a cruelty free perfume. But if you know any uh, that smell kind of like a kind of like Juicy Couture at night or like those more like sexy but still kind of sweet and I don't know those types of scents if you have any like recommendations like that for me please let me know down in the comments because cruelty free perfume is so daunting to me and I'm just happy <laughs> that I have a lot of samples left and a lot of full size perfumes left that I can use up first but yeah 
those were all of the empties that I used up in March, April and May and hopefully we'll see how long it takes before I film my next empties videos. Like I don't go through a ton of empties but it still feels nice to like sit down and talk about them all and kind of just kind of close them out. There are definitely some items in here that I hadn't talked about uh, in a video before so yeah, now you know what I think about them. So yeah, that was it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!